What's up guys, Maximilian here, and this isn't something familiar that you've seen before. Counter-Strike Global Offensive has come out for the PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and it's actually a lot of fun. I would not have even tried this game, to be honest, if it wasn't for the subscribers on the channel uh, in a recent Call of Duty video saying that Max should go ahead and try out some other shooters and stuff like that. To be honest, the ease of Call of Duty's accessibility is so easy for me. The fact that it runs at 60 frames is easy, really easy to control, and it runs good on consoles is one of my biggest motivating factors for actually playing the game. So jumping into other shooters can be a bit alien for me sometimes, but uh, the fundamentals that Call of Duty te teaches you actually really do apply. So um, I jumped into Counter-Strike, got into, I think it's called Arms Race, uh, and Arms Race is the only mode, I think, in Global Offensive that is immediate respawning. It's like gun game, and it's actually based off the original, I think, Counter-Strike 1.6 uh, gun game mode. Or it could have been Arms Race, I don't know the history too well. Essentially, every time you kill a guy, you get a new gun, and you have to get up until the point of which you uh, max out all the weapons at around 25 kills, I think it is. Something like that, and, you are, uh, and you're done, and you're the winner. Whoever gets there first is the winner. Similar to anybody that might have played gun game in Black Ops. It's actually a lot of fun, and a uh, big issue with Black Ops is that wager matches didn't work very well because of lag and stuff like that. There is some connection issues with this game, and the overall input of the game isn't as um, crisp as I was like I would like it to be. It's kind of shocking that the game actually does not run at 60 frames a second, um, especially on Xbox, considering that it has about the same graphics or graphic uh, ability as something like Call of Duty. So nonetheless, I think this might be an excellent game to play on PC, just as the original Counter-Strike was. But just to give you guys kind of an example of um, what to expect if you jump in here, especially Call of Duty guys, the controls will feel extremely alien, but you can customize that stuff completely. There's no aiming down sights, so I'm not just hip firing all over the place. That is the way the game is. The uh, and it, by 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 default, if you start shooting through automatic fire, your bullets go absolutely everywhere. But you can decrease the recoil by uh, by kneeling down, but you lose almost all your mobility. Um, however, that does concentrate the fire really well. Things like snipers I find are pretty dang hard to use too because you have to click in like the right thumbstick to, to zoom in and it automatically has to zoom back out when you take a shot. So uh, it's pretty it's pretty interesting. I think that this game is definitely, definitely fun and it's a lot different than what people might be expecting from Call of Duty. If I see anything weird that comes up in this gameplay, I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, one of the big things that's kind of griping me right now is the fact that the uh, the connection seems to be really weird. Like, you'll go up against a couple of guys, put, put like at least six or seven bullets into them with a handgun or an assault rifle or something like that, and they just don't even budge, and it's like you didn't even really hit them. Um, and then other times it's totally fine, so I think that's just the uh, debut jitters that most games have. The netcode is not always going to be flawless, but uh, took me a few games, took me about uh, three or four games to start figuring things out, how people are playing it. Like, that guy took like 12 shots to the back and he just didn't die. Um, but over time, things like headshots, things like actually placing your bullet fire uh, with, with dudes, figuring out the proper spawn points, not really spawn trapping, but more over the, uh, the choke points on the maps, is really fun. Um, for, I think for the majority, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, because I've only played Arms Race, is the rest of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, uh, you can't respawn. Wow, look at that lucky headshot I got on that guy. Uh, I'm really down for, for respawning immediate type games. I don't really like the search and destroy type stuff from, you know, which is actually based off Counter-Strike, where you have to kill a guy, upgrade your weapons, all that kind of stuff, but you die if you get shot. Um, or once you get killed and you don't respawn until the next round. I really like fast-paced shooting games. Uh, especially ones that get you back into the action really quick, and that's what this one, that's what this one does. It's actually really good. And I think Arms Race is actually one of the more fun modes, um, especially how easy it is to jump into and everyone's just ready to go right at the start. So, yeah, I would actually recommend this game. I think it's only, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's 15 bucks. Look, at the end here, when you get a knife, you actually have to hit the guy twice with the knife because it doesn't do, it's not a one-hit kill like something like Call of Duty. Um, and even, I did not play many other shooters besides, like, I think Halo 3 and SOCOM when it, a long time ago and Lost Planet, so I apologize if I make Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty comparisons, but I think that it's good that some people play other games, and I think I'm going to, considering how much fun I was having with this one. Look at this ridiculous fire rate with these freaking dual akimbo guns. I'm desperately trying to get back in there right now. If you get knifed, you also lose your, uh, lose your previous weapon, so it gives you an incentive to be really careful, but that's about it. Had a pretty good few games, and I actually started winning fairly quickly, so really enjoying Counter-Strike. Hope you guys enjoyed the first impressions. My name is Maximilian, signing out.